we basically went on a date. Blind date. A blind date when I was 17, I think. Trish and Jeff Robinson met when they were in high school. When I met him, I just, you just get that feeling of, oh my gosh, he's the one. Soon after, they married and began building a life together. Then came the unexpected news when Jeff went to the doctor. And he asked me how long have you had a heart problem. And I did, told him I didn't have a heart problem. He goes, yeah, you do. Jeff was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. After numerous surgeries, doctors told Jeff he had less than two years to live, unless he got a heart transplant, and that can take years. But doctors at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona had another solution, using new transplant technology called the organ care system, or heart in a box. Well, this technology is gonna give patients the ability to get transplanted potentially faster, we're going to be able to go out further distances to retrieve organs from donors and bring them back in a, in a safe fashion. So it's, it's, it's incredible. It works like this. Traditionally, when a heart is donated, it's placed in a cooler for transport. Doctors only have about four hours to get the heart to the recipient. With this new technology, a donated heart is resuscitated and placed in this box, which keeps it alive and beating in a human-like state. This increases the window of transport to 12 hours, allowing doctors to get more hearts to more patients, like Jeff, who became the first person in Arizona to undergo a heart-in-a-box transplant. And the Mayo Clinic team would be the first in Arizona to do it. And everybody was just very amazed at, at, to see this device working. And mm -hmm. even when we brought the heart back to, uh, to the operating room in Mayo and rolled it into the operating room and were doing our final evaluation of the heart, people were coming over and looking at it. And these are people that have been in medicine for 20 years, and they were just all marveling that we had this opportunity to do this for this patient. Two months after surgery, Dr. Brian Hardaway said Jeff was progressing well. He's doing well. He's having the anticipated uh, post-transplant course uh, in good spirits, getting around okay. Things are looking good. I'm elated. It's, it's awesome. It's a second chance. And I just have to thank him from the bottom of my new heart. <laughs> For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Marty Velasco-Hames.